peaceful, isn't it? Oh, yes. It really helps clear the mind. Yeah. Clear the mind of all non-essentials. I used to teach us that in WSB training. Yes. That was one of Sean's lectures. It's ironic, really, isn't it? Clear the mind of the non-essentials before a mission. Yes. This business with Sean will be coming to a head. Mm -hmm. Whatever's going to happen will happen very soon. Uh, I've got something for you. A sketch made by the police artist of the chap that's been following uh, Felicia. Does he look familiar? Yeah. This man. Now, I've seen him at the warehouse, at Sean's warehouse. He's working for Sean. Good. So I've put out a mic on him. Well, today we start moving. Change of scenery should be pleasant. Can't see any scenery with the shades pulled. Well, I'll tell you what. Once we get going, maybe we'll let you look out the window every once in a while, all right? How kind. Look, we're going to be together for quite a while. Perhaps we should try to get along. Oh, and I'm supposed to be delighted at the prospect. Could be a very pleasant trip, you never know. Ah! You know, Frisco and Felicia were bargaining with me when they uh, handed over the crown and jewels. They want in on this caper. Well, didn't you think that they're a little young? Young? Yeah. How can you look upon them as young? They got into Donnelly's apartment from the inside, and we couldn't even do it unsatisfactorily from the outside. <laughs> all right, then, all right. I won't think of them as young. Got their hands and part of the treasure, which is more than what we did. <laughs> all right. They're very However, clever. they're rash. And I'd sooner have them on the inside looking out, where I can keep an eye on them. Yeah, keep them out of trouble. Yeah. You know, I thought that Sean was very taken with Felicia. I think the charm wore off a long time ago. Don't forget, they stole the treasure from him, then they flaunted it on television. He's not going to forget that in a hurry. Oh, yes, that's very true. They could be in a lot of danger. Yeah. Can't you just tell them they to stay out of this? No. Actually, they've dealt themselves in. They're going to have to play this out whether they like it or not. We're going to have to protect them. Hmm. Protect, yes. But it's best that we have them in on this, otherwise they're going to dash off and do something on their own. It could be even more dangerous. For them and us. Where do we have this meeting, then? My place. Give you a chance to assess the team. Good. Have you, um... Have you heard from Holly? No. No, she said she needed space. Oh, Robert. Why don't you just... just call her and say that, you know, you're not rushing her, but you just want to find out if she's all right. I mean, I'm sure that she couldn't object to that. Yeah. Yeah, that might work if I just called her up to see how she was. Feeling better? Yes, thank you, Sean. Good. Prescott, why don't you leave us alone for a while? Come back after you've cooled off, huh? Bit of advice, Holly. Yes? There's no point in streaming again. This Pullman car is on an isolated spur far from the main tracks. But what I'm going to do is take your handcuffs off for a while so that you can stand up and get some exercise, all right? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Oh, no problem. Long time since I've used these things. Don't like to use them. I think they're uncomfortable. They certainly are. There we go. You okay? Yeah, a bit stiff. Just stretch a bit. That's it. 
Holly, don't try it. I'm not a complete fool. I'll see to it that uh, Prescott doesn't give you any more problems. Yes, but when you're not here, you can hardly control him. <laughs> but I don't think that bothers you very much, does it? I have a feeling that you're not going to believe anything I have to say. Let me go, Sean. I can't. We're both in it too deep now. But you're alive. And I intend not going to jail. When Robert finds out what you've done, he's going to come after you. And I'll tell you something else. He's going to throw his badge away so he can deal with you without any rules or regulations. You know what that means, don't you? Yes, I know. I don't know when your last good night's sleep was, but you're not going to have another one for a long time. I thrive on danger, Holly. Well, then you must be blossoming right now because you're in a great deal of danger. Yes. There are a few things we have to discuss before you take off. No, the first thing you are going to do is apologize to Mrs. Scorpio. Forget it. You heard me. It will never happen again. It had better not. Will you stop breathing? I get the idea, Sean. Good. The train's leaving in a couple of hours. We've got a lot of work to do. All right. Where are we going? You'll find out where, Holly, when you get there. Got some uh, timetables and schedules for you. Save your questions until we get outside. Your lines, Ellen. Come in. Robert? Uh, Anna's joined us. Oh, hello, Anna. Hello. Come and sit down. Why don't we all have a seat? Uh, I've got a couple questions for you first, Robert. Sure. First of all, what does Mr. Vane have to do with this? In his team? Yeah, team, if you want to call it that. That's what I want to call it, because that's what it's going to be. A combat team. Combat? Okay, but... Uh, don't worry about Anna. She can carry her weight. She's trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat and marksmanship. All right, but then why... Uh, why is she on the team? She's on the team because I want her here, and I really don't want to answer any more questions. Well, do me the favor... Uh, the you've got to understand something, Frisco. You see... In a combat team, you have only one leader, and that leader expects blind obedience from all of the members. Now, I'm going to be the leader. You don't like that? Well, you better walk out right now. Frisco? Please, sir. No, Just... Robert's right. Besides, we don't know anything about running a combat team. You really fight hand in hand? Yes. And shoot? Accurately. Oh, one more thing, one very important thing is to get the treasure back and to get it out of our lives once and for all. Now, don't you see that? Okay, Robert. Your way. Right. Uh, do you have the uh, plans for the antique Pullman? Yes, I do. I copied them from the library. Now, um, this is a Pullman from the same era as the one that Sean has. And I also have a good plan of all the railways in the southeast. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay, let's go. We've got work to do. Right, this one goes. All right, the overnight stops are marked with black checks. See them? Yeah, okay. What are these red checks for right here? Now, those are the ultimate spurs off the main track. You use those for emergencies or other kind of demands, right? Okay, we've got them here. Mm -hmm. I'm just stretching my leg. Okay, these green crosses right here. Oh, those are repair stops if needed. I have none waiting. Okay. Along here, here, and up here. And we've got them as well. Uh, Sean, wash her. What? Holly. What? What? Please, stay away from the door, will you? Well, there's some nice breeze coming through. Well, you try anything, Holly, and I'll put the handcuffs back on again. And they'll remain on. I'm trying to avoid that. Sean? Yes. Pencil. She could have gotten paper out of this book. Holly, 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 Holly. Is that why you went to the door to toss the note outside? Hmm? No, of course not. Go get the note, Chris. Help me, help me! Please help! What's going on here? Please help me. This woman kidnapped me. They're holding me hostage. Please, don't you understand? 
Golly. That works for me. I hope this convinces you that there's no way for you to, dis to escape. So I just want you to relax with it. Accept it, Holly. It'll be easier for you. I want you to just sit down and think about what I said. We'll uh, talk out on the observation platform. Now, come on. Sit down and relax. That's it. You okay? Fine. Oh, and by the way, the rear exit is locked. No, Sean. Thanks, Marty. Now, I want you to know something about Marty here, Chris. Right? Yeah, we already met with you. I just want you to know that you're working with an expert. Marty was an excellent WSB man up until a few years ago, trained engineer. I worked with him many times in some very delicate situations. He's been training to be the engineer on this train. So that gives you total freedom. Freedom to take care of any emergencies. You mean like that one right there, for instance? Holly, will you please go sit down? Thank you. All right. Marty has a duplicate of the map I showed you inside. All right, there's one thing I would like to get straight right here and now. What? I want you to explain to Marty that I am the boss. I got no problems with that. All right, because I don't want any more problems at all. I know both of you have cellular phones. You need me for anything, call me immediately. I better go finish checking out the engine. All right, Mike. Good trip. Did you spy on me, right, Sean? Right. And you're my spy on him. Oh, and one other thing. What? I have a whole network of people watching this Pullman car, Prescott. So you behave yourself on this little trip with Mrs. Scorpio. Or you answer to me. Or worse yet. You answer to Robert Scorpio. Okay. Places marked in red are uh, possible areas where the train could be diverted if that turns out to be Sean's plan. Right. And we can eliminate some of those spurs as soon as we know what route the train's taking. Yeah, we'll know that in a couple of days. Uh, in the meantime, I want you to commit all of this to memory. Okay. There is something that you can start on right away. Good. I want to be doing something, Robert. I want you to find or oh, work out the whereabouts of everybody in the brownstone. The night the dinner was mugged, but you've got to do it in a way that they don't know what you're up to. Got it. There's uh, one more thing. Yeah. Above and beyond anything, uh, safety of the women comes first to the exclusion of the treasure if necessary. Yeah, it gives me an idea. Is, uh, Felicia doesn't know anything about taking care of herself. I think Anna can help a bit. No, well, it's my responsibility. Do you have a phone I can use somewhere in private? This one. I guess that's it then. Okay, Robert, then you're pretty well through with us? Yeah, we'll be in touch later. Okay, Felicia, about ready to go? You want to take off? Yeah, where? Uh, well... You'll be finding out soon enough then, okay? Oh, Ready? Surprise? Well, yeah, you could kind of call it a surprise. We're heading out. Uh, Goodbye, Anna. Thank you. Stay in contact. Okay, okay. right. What's it's the gonna be surprise? I'm just waiting to see it. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Young love. At least it used to be until this treasure messed it up. Yes. It's amazing how one mistake can just keep people apart. Get back to work. There's got to be another pencil in this place somewhere. Oh, Robert, why don't you call her? I don't even know where she is. We'll try her nanny in London first. No. No, I promised her I wouldn't find her. She needs solitude right now. Time... Time to be alone. Sometimes you say things in anger that you don't really mean. Whatever time it 
it takes. I, I promised her that. I promised her I would. It might be a mistake. Let's concentrate on Sean. He has a Pullman car that has to be watched 24 hours a day. There's four of us, that's six hours apiece. Okay. When I've dealt with him, then I'll think about Holly in my personal life. gone. Your protector is no longer around. Relax. You don't have to do that. No? No. Nothing will happen to you as long as you behave yourself. It's that simple. Now I have to go. Marty is outside. He's got a gun. I'm told he knows how to use it. says two minutes before the hour. Yeah, that checks with mine. Good. Start your final countdown. Pullman North leaves in exactly half an hour. I can hardly wait till that Trish is out of town. Right. Look, Mr. Scorpio, I think you should face some facts. What fact? It will be easier for both of us if we try to get along. I think. This coffee is hot. You are cold. Why don't you take it? Look, what do you think? I poisoned it or something? No, of course not. Then take it. Drink it. going to happen to me? That depends on you. Meaning what? How you behave. What do you want me to do? Just behave, that's all. Don't try any tricks. We travel by night, we hide out by day. Because the treasure is on board. And don't ask any questions. You have picked up some awful habits being married to a cop, you know that? Yeah, maybe I have. Sean tells me your marriage is on the rocks. That is my personal business. I'll behave and follow the rules. But I'll tell you one thing. If anything bad happens to me, you'll have Robert Scorpio to worry about for the rest of your life.
people's faces once in a while. I'm, um, sorry I haven't been by lately. It's all right, you've been busy. Uh, Robert, about Holly. Uh, I'm handling it. Yeah, no, it's been rough. I'm sorry. Thanks. So, is there any news on Sean Donnelly's case? Well, things are quiet at the moment, but I'm expecting a break soon. Anything you want to talk about? I will when I can. Well, at least it's good that Frisco doesn't seem to be in your way anymore. You noticed? Yeah, you two seem sort of relaxed around one another. Well, we, uh, came to an understanding. Yeah, let me guess. You told him to get off your back and he had no choice. Close enough. Mm -hmm. Well, how are you and Kenya getting along? Is this place comfortable? Well, I'm not as obsessed about security as I was before, so I guess it's all right. Good. You seem, um, less uptight. Well, I should be. It's like general hospital annex around here. This floor, you know, is neurology and orthopedics, since Grant lives next door. See much of him? Well, he's a neighbor like everybody else, you know. Speaking of Grant, you know, I should invite him over for dinner tonight. How about you, Robert? Would you like to come by for tonight? Uh, really, look, thanks anyway, but, uh... My eating habits consist of a midnight ride in the fridge of late. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, listen, can I borrow her? I'd like to turn her loose in the kitchen and show me how to work <laughs> some of the gizmos in there, you know? Tricky business. Hey, just like everything else in life. So, how's it going, Robert? Have you heard from Holly lately? Uh, the truth of the matter is that um, I haven't heard from her since she left. Um... Well, I better get over to Kelly's. Uh, don't worry, I'll let myself. Okay. You take care of yourself, Robert. Yeah. Felicia and I didn't quite get it straight, but that was a signal you wanted to meet us here, right? Yep. I have an assignment for you two. Um... There was something we wanted to tell you, too. We saw Grant's timesheet at the hospital. The night Anna was mugged. You got yeah. it? Mm -hmm. That should be pretty interesting. Oh, it is. From what the timesheet says, Grant only took a half an hour for dinner that night. You sure? That's what the chart says, Robert. Black and white. Black and white what? How was it written? Pencil? Ink? Blood? What? Mm. Concentrating on the information, I don't know. Can you picture it in your head? It was... it was ink, I guess. Ball... ballpoint? I'm, I'm not I sure, get though. It. There is no point in guessing. Uh, see, there's a little more to police work than I thought. Let's move ahead. All right. Mm -hmm. I want you two to get over to Dino's. Establish the fact that Grant bought that pizza there. That's it? Just that he bought a pizza? A little... other detective work, like, uh, arrival time and departure. Maybe that time? 
Well, as near as you can get, try to pin it down. Uh, there's no point in guessing in a case like this. Robert, Robert, wait. I mean, it, it's surprising, you know, what people will remember if you just if you just jog their memory. Um, you know, one question leads to another. Well, be subtle. Subtle. Soft. Soft. Right. Let's go. Okay, right. okay. Good luck. You can get that take out for Tony and Tony while we're here. Right. All right. Bye. Well, I suppose it's about time that I went to the woman and became a watchman. I'll be relieving you soon. I'm fine. Sure? Yes. Honestly, I'm absolutely fine. You're uh, still suffering the effects of the concussion, aren't you? Yeah, I've had an occasional headache or so. I'm about to be expected. All right, in that case, I shall relieve you soon. No, uh, don't argue. Don't argue, all right? I've got one piece of business, and then I'll relieve you soon. Well, where are you going? I want to go to the general, look at that timesheet myself. I bet this is the first time you've had a rest all day. I'm right, aren't I? You worried about me. Yeah? Come on, the case is starting to get interesting, right? Have you called money? No. Not enough time, is that it? Holly doesn't want to talk to me. I see. When she's ready, she will. Thank you. You see, I'm not such a bad guy after all. All you had to do was ask. Good old Marty. Speaking of Marty. What? Is Prescott your first name, or can't you tell me? My name is simply Prescott. It's nice. Sounds English. Yeah, I guess so. How about, uh, Prescott Prescott? <laughs> uh, your family, they English? Yeah, way back, I guess. May I, uh, register a complaint? What? It gets awfully hot in here during the day. Yes, I know, you're right, it does. I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do about that. There was no way of air conditioning. Couldn't you open the shade? Then we could get to the windows and open them. At least we'd have some fresh air in here. No, I'm afraid not. Um, if we open the shade, somebody might see us. Oh, I see. How many miles did we travel last night? That's a very good question. Let's see. Uh, no, let's not see. I can't discuss that with you. I'm sorry, you understand? Yeah, I understand. At least you were able to bring me that water. Thank you for that. Yeah. Well, if, uh, if you just stay polite, we won't have any problems, okay? Okay. I don't want any problems, believe me. Hi. I am happy to report it's pretty quiet around here today. Oh, that's good news. You guys can do it. It does a piece of quiet. Although things are kind of interesting in the CICU today. Oh. We have a cuckoo visiting there. A clock, that is. Anyway, I'm happy to be down here. Yeah, well, I am too. It's what medicine. do you think well? of a cuckoo as an antidepressant? That's what this new doctor did. Buzz Stryker, you know? Buzz Stryker. Sounds like the name of the cuckoo in the clock, eh? No. Cuckoo? No. <laughs> Oh. That's the name of the doctor who prescribed the cuckoo clock for the patient that was depressed. Did it work? Amazing. It really did. This guy is full of great ideas. I hope he sticks around for a while. Well, that'd be wonderful, but uh, <clears throat> as a matter of fact, I'm a bit pushed. I need a spot of information. What do you want to know? Time sheets for the last couple of weeks. Have a look. Of course. Here you go. Thank you. What are you looking for? Is there anything wrong? Not so far. You got a flashlight? You mean like a little pen? Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Okay, well, 
Thanks for the cooperation, Amy. Mm-hmm. Anytime. I think that we could put this on the bestsellers list. What do you mean? You're the third person who has asked me for this. I mean, just in the past two days. First Frisco, then Grant, now you. I never thought this was that interesting. Maybe I should reread it, huh? <laughs> Maybe. Chili. You got it. Okay. I don't blame you for not taking the powdered eggs, Mr. Smokedale. You might as well call me Holly. Okay, Holly. That's two for chili, right? Uh. Why don't you guess? I don't know. About um, a hundred years old? That's pretty close. It's about 90 years old. Really? How about the engine? Well, you idiot. She's pumping you. the only man in the world that could do that to me. No, I didn't. Okay. Kind of a time you've been having. Well, long stretches of silence followed by seeing nothing at all. Now I can hear the sound of my own heartbeat. How about you? It's been an interesting night. Well, I hope you're going to share it with me. It's Grant. What about him? Little by little, Anna. It's all starting to come together. Before I went to the diner, I uh, paid a visit on his uh, apartment at the Brownstone. Oh, you do, dear? And a bugging device and a camera. Oh, no, 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 I didn't make an appearance. The best is yet to come. What? What? The time shift, General. Oh, uh, what Frisco was wrong about that? Uh, that junior G-man was on the money. I've got to look at it. Grant is only on record for being away 30 minutes. But I got a light underneath it and found some erasure marks. A oh, really granite tankard with a sheet, then? After the fact. He's on record for only being... Uh, or for returning to the hospital 30 minutes later. Oh, I see. You tired? Yeah. Uh, I think I am. Well, look, I'm here now. Um, go home and get some sleep. Uh, Felicia is going to take over next. Well, I'm not going to argue with that. <sighs> Still having headaches? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Stakeouts can be a real drain on the nerves. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for coming earlier than you had to. You're a very considerate partner. Did nobody ever tell you that? Not lately. Um, have you, uh, have you heard from Holly? No word, I suppose. No. And I'm trying not to feel sorry for myself. <laughs> You're not having a lot of luck, are you? I almost called Nanny before I came here. Well, what stopped you? Stop myself. Why? I can't do it. Oh, please, Robert. You've got to go with your impulse. I mean, Holly may have changed her mind by now. If she has, she'll call me. 
No, not necessarily. She may be finding it a little hard to swallow her pride. You know, somebody has to make the first move. I have a pride too, Anna. No, no, that's fine. Uh, I won't be long. All right. Uh, Felicia had some rather interesting information after she came up duty tonight. Oh, what's that? Frisco came through for us. He uh, went to Dino's, discovered that Grant had bought a pizza. Yeah. Uh, the guy said come back in 30 minutes. Grant took longer. Oh, how much longer? Long enough for the pizza to get cold. The guy had to reheat it. Oh, so from the hospital, he went to Dino's to, to the Barnstable? And back to the hospital. Yeah, busy man. How long did he take, do you think? Well, I don't know for sure, but I'll retrace all the, uh, the steps the route he took tomorrow. My guess is he must have taken at least an hour and a half, maybe even two. It's our fourth man, Robert. I know it. We've got to be sure. You don't like this, do you? I hate it. My wife, my two best friends. I'm just trying to cut my losses. I know, I know. So, it's not rolling back the clock, is there? No. Stopping it? Dead? No. That just doesn't work that way. I want to walk away from all of this. Can you? No. I guess not. Look, you've just got to see it through. No matter what the outcome is, that's the only way that you can get on with your life. No matter who gets hurt? No matter who. Look, I know this from personal experience. Robert, you know I'm right. I'm tired, Anna. I'm just too bloody tired to really care anymore. Robert, please, please, you've got to try and find her. Look. Just drop your pride and try and find Holly. What are you looking at? What, the, uh, the chili? You must be very hungry. I don't like being made a fool of, Mr. Scorpio. I also don't like being humiliated in front of some flunky. You got that? No more trick questions, all right? Okay. No more tricks, no more questions, I promise. Okay. It's not the best, I'm sorry. You know, you really are one hell of a good-looking woman, Mrs. Scorpio. It's too bad. What's too bad? You really want to know? No, forget it. No more questions for me. No, no, no. Actually, it's, uh, this is okay. I was just thinking about you and me. It's too bad we're in this situation. I mean, if things were different, who knows? We might have even been able to make it together. You need that, don't you? Perhaps I could give you what you need. Come on, don't look at me like that. You were leaving your husband, weren't you? I mean, truthfully, when was the last time that you... Uh... My husband is going to track you down. And when he finds you, he's going to squash you like the disgusting insect that you are. You, you can't even compare to my husband. Don't you forget that.
Don't you push me too far, Mrs. Scorpio. Robert, and it's all extremely boring. Well, what have you got? I followed Grant this morning, okay? Mm -hmm. He didn't go anywhere or do anything even remotely suspicious. I'll give the guy a chance. He's not going to make it easy for us. So where do we go from here? All right, we all know that Grant moved the treasure the night of the party. Right. And whether he uh, knocked Anna out or not is yet to be proven. Now, all we have to do is establish a chink in his alibi. We've got our fourth player. That's the way I see it. Now, we've narrowed all the names down who live in the brownstone to one. However, the process of elimination won't hold up in court. We've got to have proof at the moment. We have a general indication that Grant might be associated with the treasure. How deep, we don't know. I might add nothing would give me greater pleasure at this point than to find one of my friends proven innocent. Well, it would make a change. But it's not going to happen. What do you want me to do? Tail Grant. Wait a minute, that's my job. Not anymore, Anna's relieving you. Mm. Well, maybe you'll have better luck then, huh? I hate to bomb out like that, Robert. Oh, wait a minute, Mr. Stanley. What are you going to do? I have some business to attend to. Then I want to, uh, retrace the route that he took the night of Sean's party. Now, we know he went to the hospital, right. pizza parlor, brownstone, pizza parlor, back to the hospital. You know, that's a lot of after-dinner activity. I know. I want to figure out the quickest way point to point he might have achieved that. If... If he can't do it in an hour and a half, well... Why do you say that? Because that's as long as he was away from the party. If he can do it in the, uh, that circuit in the allotted time, I think we've got a fourth player. But meanwhile, I guess... I guess I get benched, is that it? You got some work at the studio? Not right now, no. When was the last time you did some target practice? Well, it's been a little while. Well, you can't be too sharp. Get over there today. You ready? Yeah, I'll see you. Bye-bye now. Good luck. Bye. We'll be in touch. Mm-hmm. I can see this doesn't come as much of a surprise to you. No, I kind of expected it. I really would appreciate you granting me this leave. You know, you haven't given me a real reason why you need it. I need to pursue things that I can't pursue as police commissioner. Personal things? Very personal. Well, I was very sorry to hear about Holly. Not half as sorry as I was. How long do you think you're going to need? I think six weeks should be enough for me to work my priorities out. If you're worried about... Uh, who's going to look after the house. Well, Bert Ramsey's more than capable of it. Actually, I'm... I'm a little relieved. I thought you wanted this meeting to... hand in your resignation. I hope that won't be necessary. You mean there's still a chance? I'm hoping that this leave of absence will grant me enough time to, uh, sort the priorities out, so to speak. I know you've had a rough time of it lately with Holly leaving. It must be very difficult for you to concentrate on much of anything else. That uh, is at least part of the reason for you wanting this leave of absence, isn't it? So you can find Holly and try to reconcile your differences? No. You're not going after Holly? I have no plans to do that just at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why not? She doesn't want me to. I see. Well, I know this sort of thing happens all the time, Robert, but... Well, you and Holly just seemed like the ideal couple. I've never seen a happier marriage. What... Well, why did it fall apart? It's a long story. I don't want to be rude, but... It's something I find kind of hard to talk about lightly to anybody. I understand. So, what are you planning on doing with your leave of absence? Heading south on Donnelly's Pullman. You're going to Jimmy Lee and Celia's wedding? That surprise you? Well, yeah. Yeah, frankly, it does. I thought that uh, Grant Andrews was a, a good friend of yours. He is. You're still attending the wedding. Why not? Grant's going to be there along with everyone else. Well, that's because he has to check on that hospital ship. Yeah. 
Busy guy these days, isn't he? She give you any trouble? Not a bit. Lady was very well behaved. It's about time. She's getting the message. I talked to Sean. Yeah, Ann? Don't talk so loud, all right? Just keep your voice down. What do you have to say? We're right on schedule. And when's he gonna take off? In one week. We have to fuel up here until we start the big push tonight. You gonna be okay with her? Yeah, I'll be just fine with her. You just worry about the engine, all right? See you soon. I suppose you're ready to fill me in, are you? Why would I want to do that? For my peace of mind, perhaps? Are you worried about something? Well, this isn't exactly a vacation. Well, why don't you just relax and leave the driving to us, all right? I would, if I know where we are, where we're going. It's very frightening to be so disoriented. There are things that are worse. Not many. I don't know. Dying, for instance. I think that's worse, don't you? You're trying to make a point? I'm only suggesting that from here on in we play this game by the rules. Or else. You don't want to know about that. Excuse me. But I've been very good today. Marty said I was very well behaved. Yes, today you have behaved like an angel. You haven't tried any tricks at all. That's what worries me. I decided you were right. It's best to be the model prisoner. That's what I would do if I were you. Since you promised not to hurt me, I haven't been so scared. If you do what you're told and you keep your mouth shut, you'll be fine. You will get through this trip with no harm at all. If you don't... Believe me, I just want to see my husband again. Robert. Hi, Tony. What are you doing here? Well, uh, I was in the neighborhood, thought I'd drop by, see how you're doing. You're certainly walking a lot better. Well, I had a lot of help from my friends. Anybody I know? Ah, uh, Jimmy Lee's old pal Buzz Stryker gave me a talking to and it fired me up. Since his lecture, I've pushed myself a lot harder than I was. He certainly seems to be having some effects on people. Have you met him? No. Well, you should. He's quite a character. Well, he's got you back to walking. He's a friend of mine. Mm hmm You know, another friend of yours has been helping me a lot, too. Who's that? Grant. Fixed me up with these braces so I could get rid of that walker, and it's made a world of difference for me. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Grant's a, a special friend. Oh, he is that. But you're the one that deserves most of the credit. Your recovery has been nothing short of miraculous. Uh, no. I've got a long way to go, but, you know, for the first time, I really believe that I'm going to be well again. Good as new. I'm sure of it. You know, I'd love to invite you in, but we're on our way to the hospital. Ah, uh, no problem. I've already uh, gotten what I sort of came by for, so to speak. But uh, you keep up the good work. Oh, I'll try. Thanks. I'm yeah. glad you dropped in. Take it easy. Yeah. to uh, trace Grant's route that night? Just finished. And? Is your fourth pair? Looks like. You know, Holly was right. About Grant? About all of us. 
She said, once an agent, always an agent. We can't, can't help ourselves. Deception is second nature. Well, granted, more than just deceive people. It's destroyed a very valuable friendship. Yeah, I destroyed a marriage. I mean, is that, is that the best there is for us? I don't bully you. Can an ex-agent ever, ever be honest, have an honest relationship with anyone? I mean, is there something in our training, in our psyche, that just dictates that we can't be straight with people? I take it then that Grant had time to, to make those stops after he left the asylum. Plenty. Whole circuit only took about 45 minutes, allowing 10 minutes with a patient. He, he had over an hour and a half to play with. Yeah, that's enough time to move the treasure and, and deal with me. Easily. Well, we found our man then. Yeah, where is he now? He's with Sean at the Pullman. All right, I want you to get back over there now. Keep an eye on him. I will join you shortly. With a bit of luck, we may catch two friends in the same trap. Very clever. Well, you've proven that you can creep up on me any time you want to. You don't have to keep practicing it. Just want to keep you on your toes. And will you stay on your toes, too? Try that again and I'll karate chop you. Save it for the bad guys, which brings me to the subject of what are they doing? Oh, well, Sean just left, but um, Grant's in the Pullman. So what's he doing? I don't know. Let's have a look. No, 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 wait. Who's he? I was trying to tell you. He's, uh, he works down at Sean's warehouse. He's one of the guards. So, Sean feels compelled to put a man in the Pullman. He must have something of value in there. Any ideas? One. Or he could be frightened that we're going to ruin his remodeling. Maybe. Or he wants us to think that there's treasure in there. Mm. Either way, I want to have a look for myself. Would you want to, to uh, distract the guard? Well, uh, what are you two doing? I wanted to see what was going on. Well, things are going on, you can be sure of that. Sean just left the Pullman. Grant's in there now alone. That's very interesting. We think so. But listen, we can't stand about here creating mob scene. Do you want us to leave? We may all have to. But there must be some way that we can get inside the Pullman. Well, what's the problem? He's put a man on it. Well, can't you pull Brank on him? Well, that cause, I have no legal reason to just barge in there. Yeah. Well, why did he put a car over there? Good question. But, uh, we have a couple of theories. Which we won't go into at the moment. Wait a minute. Can't you just tell the guard you're a friend of Donnelly's and you want to check out the accommodations in the place because you're, you're taking a trip down south? I don't want Sean to know I've been snooping around. Yeah, you see, Grant will tell Sean. Not if I know him first. What do you want us to do? I need to like the diversions. You want us to take that guard out of the way for a while? I can. No problem. What are you and Anna going to do? Sleep under the Pullman and see what uh, Grant's up to. Right. Felicia and I will handle the guard. Huh. I'll tell you on the way. Give us a couple minutes to set him up, all right? And then the coast is clear. All right. Be careful. Yeah. Did you get the fuel? Yeah, well, we got to talk. About what? The route. Not in front of her. Well, let's talk outside. Hold it, hold it. All right, we can talk out on the observation platform. I need some air anyway. Please. Hello? Ow! You're funny! 
Hey, I should do a lot worse. You just don't give up, do you? I'm telling you, Mrs. Scorpio, you keep this up, you will never see your husband again. Now sit down. Nice and loose. Don't you uh, help our friend in his search? I can't wait to see what you found. Well, there's nothing. Nothing. What? Yeah, there's nothing under the trap door. Damn! All right. Let's start at the beginning now. I know you took the treasure. I want to know how you did it and where it is. 